Eric Beck, a naturopath. Thanks for coming back. I had a question from a lady in America about two weeks ago. I haven't replied to yet, and she's really concerned here. She's saying, is SIBO a contagious disease? It's not contagious at all, okay? It's a digestive issue. It's an overgrowth of bacteria in the small bowel. It's not something you can pass from one to another. It's not a sexually transmitted disease. I've, many people often have this concern about a bowel problem or a digestive problem. They think that they could pass to somebody else. The condition that can be passed uh, is Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori that can be passed with you know sharing utensils like you know spoons or cups or stuff like that. But it generally doesn't really happen. A person has to be susceptible to get something, all right? If they've got a reasonably good health and a good element of resistance there, they will resist that disease. Samuel Hahnemann, the founder of homeopathy, he believed uh, that people attracted disease to them a little bit like iron, um, okay? A magnet and iron are attracted to each other. So, and for you to attract disease, you have to be at a certain low point or susceptible point to get it. So if your energy is vibrating at a higher level, you're going to reject that, not attract it. All right. So by keeping yourself in pretty good shape, you're not really going to get sick a lot going forward. All right. And um, that's how it is. Healthy people don't get sick. Sick people get sick all the time. So don't forget that. SIBO is not contagious. And this is some new type of SIBO out that I'm not aware of, but I've never heard of being contagious, nor inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, constipation is not contagious. These things don't just jump on you like a flea, you know, jumping on you when you sit on a couch. You don't just get, oh, I've got this sickness all of a sudden. Most people have this idea um, that they catch sickness, okay? It's almost like it's falling out of the sky and they, oh, I've got, got an illness here. I just caught this illness. It doesn't work like that, all right? You get sick because you're going to get sick because your susceptibility Okay, increases and your resistance goes down and that's why you've got zip. Resistance is a big thing. Stress is a great thing that breaks resistance. So if you want to get sick, just get stressed. You're going to get sick real quick. All right. That's more likely how you're going to get SIBO. Not from catching it, but more from a low resistance. Thanks for tuning in.